Welcome to the special Thanksgiving edition of Glenn Plays. Today we're going to play Gunsmoke. The only thing that caught my attention was it's not Gunsmoke, like the old 60s western TV show which I really didn't give a shit about. It's Gun.Smoke. And I wasn't aware of that until like this year. I heard about this game like three years ago. And uh, I looked at the gameplay, I looked at the name. Because I wasn't, like, huge into Western television shows back when I was a kid. And Gunsmoke was, like, one of the shows, like, Bonanza, where I really didn't care for him. Like, when it comes to Westerns, I think of the Clint Eastwood movies, you know, like, uh, Outlaw Josie Wales, or uh, a, a newer example, like, uh, The Unforgiven, which had a great cast and a great story. Um, you know, my favorite Westerns, Back to the Future Part 3. <laughs> uh... When it comes to westerns, really, um, my favorite western television show is The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr., because of course you got Bruce Campbell. It's a great western storytelling, but anyway, that aside, my my love and dislove of certain western things, uh, I looked at the gameplay of this when I first saw it, and I was like, it's like a top-down, uh, scrolling shooter type game. Uh, just almost similar to Back to the Future and uh, The Adventures of Dino Ricky on the NES. And looking at that, it's like, okay, those games fucking suck. So that that one's got to fucking suck. This was like three years ago I heard of Gunsmoke. I didn't know this game existed when I was a kid. So, sadly, I gave this game a chance this year in 2016 is when I first played it. And I was like, holy shit. This is actually a really great game. It's a fucking shame I never played it up until now, or, you know, early on this year. Because early this year I was looking for newer game, like, different games I haven't heard of for the NES library, and I wanted to play different things, and... So I came across this game, Gunsmoke. You know? Let's, let's just get started so you can play the fucking game. Town of Hicksville. I'm looking for Bandit Bill. He's worth $10,000. This thing's got a really uh, unique uh, control scheme. You know, B shoots left to the screen, A shoots right, and if you press A and B together, he shoots straight. It's, it's you know, a game of avoidance. It's a top-down scrolling shooting shooter game, but it's very well done. Uh, I mentioned it, I, it, when I first saw it, it reminded me of uh, Dino Ricky and Back to the Future on NES, which were terrible fucking games, in my opinion. The POW knocks all the outlaws out. But this one had it right. This, the, the Dino Ricky and Back to the Future, you can't stop walking. You just keep going. It's... fuck. I just died. I'm talking. But yeah, you, you get a set pace and you have to keep walking. You can't stop for anything. Okay, here's the woman. This is what's different about this game from Dino Ricky and Back to the Future 2. You get, if you have some money, you can actually choose different guns you want to use. I don't think I have much money, so let's get an exit out of that. But um, the way, you, like how the pace he walks is great. Not too fast, not too slow, it's just the right pace. And that's what's great about this game, and it's... Damn it, fuck. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. It's a lot of fun because the control scheme is great. You know, it, it's your typical, like, you know, like, shooter game. Keep tapping the buttons, you'll keep shooting. And I, I've... I've learned to like shooters a lot more the past couple years, like, uh, you guys probably saw me play, uh, holy fuck, <laughs> you can even get a horse, you guys probably saw me play, uh, Silver Surfer and, um, Light Force with my son. There was a bullet that was about to hit me before I went to that guy, I'm so glad I avoided that shit, I'm about to 
to die again. I cannot believe I'm fucking still going here. If I was paying attention, I could beat this level, and but I'm not really paying much attention. I'm just I'm talking about the gameplay and stuff. Because the, the television show really, to me, wasn't that great. My mom and dad watched it growing up. They watched fucking Bonanza and shit like that. And I was just... It's like I said before, the, the Western television shows of yesteryear, like the, you know, 50s, 60s, I really didn't think they were that interesting. They're very boring, bland. Even though they had, you know, stars I liked on them, um, there's a few episodes of Gunsmoke I saw that had, uh, Leonard Nimoy and DeForest Kelly from Star Trek on it, I thought that was pretty cool. I actually watched those. I was actually interested in those, but... Uh, I don't have enough money, woman. But other than that, I really never found much found much interest in it. There's a TV station called Grid. I think my parents watched too. That it's got a lot of old uh, westerns on it. And there was one sh there's one western television show that they watched that I wasn't aware of. That was it didn't have recurrent characters, which I thought was very strange. It was, Every week it was a different story with different characters, and that show was actually pretty pretty cool. There's a a western that was in color too that had Ronald Reagan on it, and that episode was actually really good. And we, me and my mom, watched the episode making jokes about how, you know, he an actor became president and stuff. Holy shit! They mentioned that in Back to the Future too. And I just mentioned Back to the Future. All these all these parallels. I just wanted something special for Thanksgiving. For some reason, I just felt like Thanksgiving should have had a, like a Western theme, you know? I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because every holiday, me and my family watch old television shows. I don't know, but I, I just wanted to do something Western. But the, the game's awesome. Like, even now there's, uh... There's a level with, like, Indians, and... It, it, it gets nuts. Like, it, it's everything you can want from this time period. Kicking ass now. I'm saying that, I almost got fucking hit by a bullet. Oh, and I just almost got hit by a fucking bullet again. I'm getting to the boss, though. I want the horse, because the horse will give you, like, extra hit points. The horse can take some damage. That's why I want it. Yeah, here comes the horse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name the horse Comet, because that was the horse's name in The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. <laughs> I love Briscoe County Jr. as far as westerns go. It, it was... I remember seeing the first pilot to Briscoe County Jr. And I was just like, holy shit, this is actually like a really awesome western. It was it was like a, a western mixed with like uh, Indiana Jones type themes, you know. The first episode was all about this relic that these guys found and Briscoe County Jr. was supposed to recover it. And it was, it was supposed to give the people who... who uh, har the people who possessed the artifact uh, gained the power of like ten men. Like, they're ultimately powerful, but in ultimately it would, like, age you really fast and ultimately kill you if you use that power. So the end, the end of the two-part uh, pilot to the episode was really awesome. It was almost like uh, the end of Raiders of the Lost Dark with, like, the face-melting scene. Like, there's this evil, this evil uh, mayor or whatever, and Bruce Campbell got into, like, a heated fight with him, and the guy was, like, throwing Bruce Campbell around the room, this old guy, and... The guy couldn't handle it anymore, and he just fucking turned into dust, and it was great. And then it, it was it was a great western. If you guys haven't seen The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr., I highly recommend it. One of the best westerns, uh, western television shows ever on network television. I think my horse is about to die because he's like flickering. Yep, he's dead. Yeah, I got the pow. I gotta be getting to the fucking boss soon. Come on, man. You, 
The music is good too. I don't I don't know if I mentioned that, but I really do like the music on this game. You know, very westernish. Plus, I wanted to play this too because um. I don't know, I had this western thing going on this year. Uh, we, me and my family went to Old World, Wisconsin. And I we did a, an out on a walk video about it. Go check that out if you haven't seen it already. It's by far my favorite out on a walk video. Very very funny. A lot of humor. Shit. I made it that far only to get killed. Oh well. A lot of great humor in it. It's If you're going to watch any of my out on the walk Fuck! I walked right in that fucking bomb. You see that shit? I can make it to the second level. I know I can. But if you're gonna watch any of the Out on a Walk videos, that's the one to watch. So if you go to my YouTube channel and uh, scroll down to Out on a Walk section, check out uh, Old World Wisconsin. Out on a Walk, Old World Wisconsin. Oh, it was fucking. It was. It was funny. Like I. Even going back to it, I thought it was hilarious. Go ahead, make my day. Yeah, it's it, it's hard not to. Holy shit! Now it's getting fucking intense. Holy shit! Fuck! And I'm not paying attention. Okay, now I really gotta fucking pay attention. So I'm probably gonna be not gonna be talking too much through this. There's gonna be some cuts here because I want to show you the other levels and I want to show you the fucking boss here. Come on, I can fucking beat this guy. Fucking guy dropping bombs and shit. Yeah! Fuck yeah! I brought that motherfucker to justice. See that shit? I think I think this guy is funny because it, it it looks like a Bobo from Double Dragon. <laughs> I think this is the level that's got like engines in it. We got to be politically correct though. I don't want to trigger anyone. It's Thanksgiving. It's a holiday. I'm coming to you as a person. And there's people that are gonna watch this video all around the world since I changed my advertising thing on Facebook. And it, I love it. I love seeing people from different countries click like on my videos. It's so awesome knowing that you guys are all watching. It's, it, it, I'm just a fucking nobody from Wisconsin. You know, and like there's, there's, you know, a hundred people that like videos of me playing video games and talking about shit. You guys don't know how much that means to me. All of you... You guys watching right now, all of you that click like, you guys, you have no fucking clue how that makes me feel. I don't even give a shit if I'm dying right now, I'm telling you that, you know, that it's it's awesome seeing you guys like stuff I do and that you're listening to me and I appreciate you watching, I love all of you. Whoever you are right now watching this, I love you. Just, I want you to know that. And it's so cool that wherever you're from, I love knowing that there's people in other parts of the world that are actually seeing stuff I do and um, just the artwork that's being displayed on the bottom of this Glen Plays video where it says Glen Plays or whatever, that's stuff I drew that you guys are watching right now and just all that. It's just all fucking awesome. And I can't thank you enough and the fucking thing is is that I hate it in this country how we're so divided and stuff about everything, and if, if, some, if something doesn't go the way someone wants it to, they start a riot right away. Like, dude, come on! <sighs> Get out there, create something, or, or something, or just be friends with people, you know what I mean? Like, there's... There's so much to be happy about, there's so much to live for, there's so much to be, you know... You can be friends with other people, it, You know what I mean? Like, I've always said, Pop in a fucking NES game and settle our differences that way. Let's not fucking resort to looting stores and fucking blowing shit up. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. You only live once. Make it count. Have fun. But maybe looting and causing destruction is fun for some of those people. I don't know. 
I just think we should end the hatred. We're all people, we're all here on Earth. We all have one life to live. That was a soap opera my grandma used to watch. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I made this video go on a little bit longer because it's Thanksgiving. And some of my liberal, liberal friends will say, well, you know, Thanksgiving is when we took the land from the Indians here in America. I know that. I know it wasn't the right thing to do, but Thanksgiving can also be a time when we, we're thankful for what we have. You know what I mean? And I'm thankful I made it to level 2 <laughs> at least to show you guys on here. I'm thankful for all of you. All of you watching right now, whether it's the people I work with at the factory, at Poly First Packaging in Hartford, uh, my family, all my, you know, my close friends, all of you watching around the world if you're watching this yet, I'm thankful for all of you. That's what my Thanksgiving is. That's what, that's why I'm displaying this on Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all of you. I love all of you. You're why I keep doing videos like this, and I want to do more creative stuff, and I'm trying. I got a, I got one terabyte of like video stored on my computer that I have to edit yet because I was I was filming this whole year for a series I'm doing that I want to have out next year, but there's gonna be so much editing, so much work. But when I'm done, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna look like shit. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> but that's gonna be its charm too. It's not just Glenn plays where I'm talking and stuff, but I'm going to do more creative stuff for all of you because I appreciate all of you. I want to do my best for all of you. I want to be successful in the YouTube field, and I want everyone to know who I am. You know? This was Gunsmoke for the NES. I'm probably going to display it somewhere up here on, my, on this video, how much the game costs. Um, I'm playing this on... Uh, the the 115 one multi card for the NES because I'm imagining this game is pretty pricey because it's a Capcom game. I don't know how much it goes for on eBay, but very fun. Um, I might not have gotten past the second level in this game. I've gotten past it before, but it's when I was like focusing more. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I had a few drinks. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm kind of like hazy and shit. But I'm all sweaty. I'm sweating profusely and shit. Um. But I had a great time playing this for you all. Very fun fucking game. If you want to choose a, you know, like a, a vertical top-down view uh, shooter game, this this would be one of the ones I would choose. As far as shooter games goes right now, I would choose Silver Surfer, uh, Gradius, you know, Life Force, and Gunsmoke. These games are fucking awesome if you want, you know, if you want something that's gonna, like, you know, make your pulse intense. Make you go fucking nuts, get you all sweaty, get, give you the NES fever, you know what I mean? Like, this is one of those games, it's very fun, graphics are awesome, music, concept, everything. I love the Old West, I think part of the reason I love the Old West is because we didn't have these debates back then about pol political correctness and being triggered and being offended by everything. In the United States here, it's just, everyone's fucking offended by everything. It didn't seem like they had that in the Old West. The Old West is like, you know... If you were an asshole, you got shot. So it's just best not to be an asshole. It's a holiday here in the United States. Wherever you are in the world, happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all of you. You guys all have a safe holiday. If you watch this, uh, have fun, be happy. Don't be offended by everything. Enjoy time with your family and friends. Be thankful. That's all I have to say. Get you on down the trail.